in today's episode of Art of Making. Kamcha, a whip, is a symbol of power among nomadic peoples. Secrets of making stage decorations. And what is the difference between tapestry and carpet making? Sensation times the main means of transportation of the Kyrgyz was a horse. Therefore, a whip, or kamcha, has become a mandatory attribute in each house. It was hung on the male half of the yurt above the threshold. Kamcha was considered the personification of power and was passed on from a father to a son. A whip of the leader, among other things, symbolized his responsibility to the people. In Kyrgyz society, it's commonly believed that all human actions have a certain meaning, which is understandable without words. Kamcha, for example, characterized a person in a certain way, and the owner of the yurt knew in advance how to treat him. If a guest hung his whip on the saddle of the horse, it meant that he was in a hurry and would leave soon. And if he hung it in a yurt, then this person planned to stay longer. If a man folded the whip in a half, the host understood that he came with some news. And if a whip was dragged on the ground, that meant a hostile attitude. Kamcha is primarily used for riding a horse or a donkey. If there was a Kamcha in the yurt, then this meant that there was a master of the house. Seeing how a person holds the whip, people immediately understood in what kind of mood he is in. Kamcha had a lot to tell. Khalil Mamunov is a professional sculptor. He graduated from the Turgan Bay Sadikov National Art Academy and for the past 15 years has been working as a master in the manufacturing of props for the Kyrgyz Film Studio. Today he will tell and show how and what Kamcha is made of. Murdatan. Different materials were used before, mostly was made of wood. Kamcha was also made of horns, but it was not as beautiful as it is now. In the past, Kamcha was used in everyday life, so it needed to be convenient. I will be making the drawings now, and I already see that a good Kamcha will be made of this horn. As the great Italian sculptor Michelangelo said, in every stone there is an image of a person, you only need to remove the excess. We can say that these words relate to all types of materials. From this horn you can make figures of many animals, for example, the silhouette of a mountain goat. First the master draws a sketch by hand, then cuts off the unnecessary parts. We take one of the popular materials, the horn of a mountain goat, we apply an animal silhouette on it, then cut it out. After we get rid of all the necessary parts, we start sharpening it with this machine. Cutting takes quite a long time. It takes three days for the master to make a whip. At the same time, attention and concentration are important, since any wrong move can spoil the whip, and everything will have to be redone. I sharpened, removed everything unnecessary, and in this way, we got the silhouette of a mountain goat. We didn't paint it, it's of a natural color. And the other part is done by a craftsman, who is engaged in leather products. I give him my sketches and then he weaves the leather part for me. I can do it all myself, but it will take a long time. Thus we got such a kamcha.
The stage in the theater is a platform where you can recreate anything. The Roman Colosseum, Egyptian pyramids, a luxurious ballroom or a distant planet. It's difficult to imagine a theater without actors and without a huge amount of scenery. Said design of theatrical and decorative art is very specific. Its main purpose is to visualize the environment in which the characters of a dramatic or musical production act. The main elements of the set design, scenery, lighting, set and props, costumes and makeup of the actors is a single artistic universe. It reflects the meaning and nature of the stage action that follows the idea of the performance. Who are the creators of the most daring stage concepts that boggle our imagination? The creation of incredible scenery involves many people of art, artists, sculptors and architects. Everything starts with sketches because I need to feel the mood of the production. This is a great preliminary work. Then professionals who implement these drawings get involved. Of course, we share ideas with each other. They come up with some technological developments, how to make everything. The next step is to develop a model, a small copy of design elements. This helps to determine the most successful sizes of the scenery, their ratio and location. The model is created by the artist with the help of a director. After all, in many ways, what the scene will look like very much depends on the views of the director. Art director, performance artist, director, intends to stage some kind of opera. He takes musical material, it takes a long time to prepare the basics. He studies the whole story. This is the director's work. The costume designer determines what kind of costumes actors will wear. The stage version of Spartacus by the master of Kazakh choreography Raibayev is one of the best versions of the productions of this ballet. And when we started to work, I wanted first of all not to spoil it, but to preserve what was originally invented in the production, the use of picturesque and some built-in structures and details. It turned out a rather large amount of work, because this is a real grand ballet with about 300 costumes, about 12 changes in scenery, and of course, all the workshops were involved. There was so much work for the painting workshop, so various theatrical workshops helped us, which were in Almaty. In general, we are doing a lot of work. In addition to that, enormous amount of work was done by the decorative workshop. They make huge sceneries, columns, Roman capitals, a variety of attributes. The theater is completely busy, of course. At the moment, we are painting, finishing up the last details, and then, like in the movie, everything is assembled together in the last minutes, so that the work will be delivered tomorrow, and the premiere will take place the day after tomorrow. Stage scenery can be of two types, hard and soft. Hard ones are conditionally divided into flat and volumetric, but in fact there are much more varieties. The scenery can be played out, they are used by actors during the performance, for example, stairs, furniture, fences, arbors. Hard sceneries mainly serve as a background and create an atmosphere and entourage. Hard scenery is made of wood, duralumin, cardboard, plywood and foam. 
According to the sketch, various elements, places of intended doors, the location of windows, columns, machines, stairs are cut. Elements such as railings and balustrades perform a double function. They are part of the overall design of the scene and at the same time protective details. Soft scenery is created from fabrics. They can be smooth, draped, picturesque and contain applications. When making curtains, panoramas, backdrops and floorboards, net curtains, tool, burlap, straw cloth are used. In each case, the choice of material and processing methods depends on the artist's intention and what theatrical scenery should look like. Колонны, которые у нас вращаются, они меняют место действия. Когда-то мы находимся в Риме. Это Huge columns that rotate and change the place of action. When we are in Rome, this is the forum. In another painting of a Piaf, the road is outside Rome and the whole scenery changes to stone ruins. The columns are made on both sides, so we did not have any other option but to make them out of polystyrene which is processed and fixed in a certain way. Well, such theater technologies help us when you need to do large-scale voluminous things and sculpting. For about four months we were working on the scenery, a titanic work made by all the workshops, and with costumes too. We needed to make sure that a certain cut didn't interfere with dense movements. We must find precise lines so that the figure looks elongated. All this takes a long time, but theater workers did a great job. Some scenery consists of movable structures, they are as mobile and easy to move. Modern methods of stage design have not replaced painting, which one way or another is presented in almost any scenery in the form of, for example, an image of bright meadows or colorful landscapes. To enhance the effect, theater engineers reproduce a thunderstorm, a volcanic eruption or even a shipwreck on the stage. The costumes were created at workshops by very talented people who created a huge number of costumes. In my opinion, this is a big deal, because it all requires tailoring, requires accurate selection of fabric and textures. The ballet costume should be both light and expressive. There is a huge amount of finishing work, where everything is embroidered with small stones and sequins by hand then all this is signed because it's necessary to reduce it to a common color scheme. The search for new methods of stage design does not stop to this day. Now, in scenography, such a technology as wide format printing, which is distinguished by the absence of stitches, is becoming very popular. In addition, the blackout material, a high-density synthetic fabric, has proven itself well. It does not transmit light, which allows you to create an image on both sides, and this fabric provides the most accurate color transfer when printing an image. The lighting designer adjusts the appearance and perception of the picture using lighting fixtures that help highlight certain elements and darken the others. This is also a huge job, a lot of light positions. I think it's about 300. Frequent changes depending on the mise-en-scene. It is a big work that should match with music, it should be accurate and very fast. The artist accurately determines which decoration is placed on such a flying bar. We as assistant directors, the two of us, write down that we would have such a decoration for a certain performance and certain act. 
какой-то акт, у нас будет такая декорация. We make records when the director is staging, where the actor comes from, how he should come in, where the children come on stage. We record from which stage and how the performance begins. We tell the flymen who are sitting at the top which flying bar to lower. We give instruction to the lighting men. At the moment, I am the executive assistant to the director who leads this performance. Stage scenery has been used for many years. Temporarily, they can be placed in a warehouse and transported to other cities. The stage scenery is constantly exposed to external factors, so large-sized scenery should be practical, easily disassembled, not requiring additional time and money. Such a secondary factor as the time of assembling is of great importance in the theater. Где-то за неделю до премьеры начинаются прогоны. Допустим, работа была в залах. About a week before the premiere, rehearsals of the show begin. For example, artists prepared in classrooms, halls, ballet rooms. Vocalists worked with accompanists. And then the director gathers everyone in a large rehearsal hall. We put it all together, and in a week we all go on stage, and the rehearsal begins. That's how the performance is born. Then a really joyful event, the premiere, takes place. We went through the main stage scenery, but modern technologies are rapidly changing and open a wide range of opportunities for the creative activities of representatives of theatrical art. Learning about what scenery is, the viewer will pay more attention to them and will also understand a huge work that is behind each element of decorating the scene. And perhaps the applause of the audience will be directed not only to the actors, but also to those who create a feeling of an emotional atmosphere. Both art lovers and professionals do not cease to admire her work. Daria Kalimova-Kastieva was born in a creative family of artists. Her father, Mohit Kalimov, is a bright representative of masters of Kazakh art of the 20th century. He made a significant contribution to the creation of the national language of painting. And Daria's mother, Lisa Kalimova, is an artist restorer. I depict what I see, for example, courtyard, jailau, mountains and horses. My dad instilled in me a love for creativity. At home we always had an atmosphere of art. Even in childhood I thought that all people know how to draw, says Daria kalimova Kastieva. In our family, everyone is creative and everyone draws. We painted from the age of four. And our father selected the best drawings and sent them to the competition in Hungary. And we won and received prizes. In addition to drawing, I went to music school. I played the piano for eight years. Daria studied first at the Zhubanov Music School, then at the Almaty Art College in the specialty of artistic weaving and decorative and applied arts. Today she teaches students herself. I would recommend girls to do tapestry. This can be very useful in life. And in general, this is a very beautiful type of art. And I recommend that the girls master it. 
от изкуство. Гамелен – это один из видов декоративно-прикладного искусства. Tapestry is one of the types of decorative applied art, which appeared in ancient times and over time it was lost. But in the second half of the 20th century, the French artist Jean Nursa gave the tapestry a second life. He created the original technique and the tapestry became rougher due to large weaving. Такой самый пик он развивался в советское время, в 70-е годы. In the 70s, the tapestry was at the peak of fashion. In Kazakhstan, Khorasbek Tanibekov and his students were engaged in this art. Fatima Zaurbekova, Alibai and Saulia Bapanovs and many others. My work is mostly done in smooth technique, and it reminds me of painting. For example, in Soviet times, there was a little yarn. We ourselves had to paint it, according to the sketches. And now there is a plenty of choice. In texture and color, I prefer to use bright, rich colors. Perhaps I got this from my father to depict picturesque sights. Each artist has its own signature style. Daria is an artist, master creator, a person who is creative, spiritual, who has a special way of feeling and learning about the surrounding beauty. She is in search of perfection of form and composition. The tapestry begins with a sketch. After that, it's approved and the work begins. My topics are different, but most of all, I emphasize femininity and plants. I love working in color. A few years ago, I started doing applied art and tapestry because I wanted to try something new, not only painting. Carpets and tapestry differ from each other. In tapestry, the whole process is done manually and carpets are made on the machine and according to a certain scheme. Artistic quality is when you transfer your sketch to the machine. I always weave my sketches horizontally and only in the final form I see my work. I enjoy the process itself. In Daria's creative workshop, there are magnificent tapestries that tell about the traditions of the Kazakh people, about the legends of the Turkic world, about the beauty, love and pain of human dramas, about the last autumn leaves and the first spring hopes, about memories and longing for their native places. I recently made a sketch dedicated to Almaty. I miss my town. I started painting a girl picking apples. I'll have an exhibition soon. First of all, it's a report for myself, my friends, colleagues, students about my personal achievements over the years. Что я могу.